buying more Singapore REITs. Here are the factors that you need to know before you tap the buy button. What's the difference between the macro situation before COVID and after COVID? Uh, it is definitely the interest rates. So in this entire video, I'm going to make an assumption that we're going to operate in high interest rate environment. Then what are the two factors I will look at then? Definitely one is the tenants, two is the rate itself. So let's start off by learning more about the tenants. Different REITs have different tenant exposures. This lesson was inspired by Digital Core REIT. So what you can see down here is that uh, we're going to zoom in to the top 10 customers and doing a sum of the entire revenue contribution to the REIT by the top 10 tenants, you can see that for Digital Core REIT, it is contributing 99.3%. Yes, 99.3%, you heard it right. That exposure is zip high. Let's go ahead and take a look at Capital DC. I did the sums and the top 10 tenants contribute 78.7%. So is this a characteristic of data center REITs despite having high gross profit margins? To make the assessment, I do have CICD and Suntech REIT in my portfolio. So let's go and take a look at whether these REITs behave like its brother REIT, which is a data center REIT. You can see that for CICT, the top 10 tenants is contributing 20.3% to its revenue. Hey, but you might be thinking, mm, yes, data centers were 99.3, 78.7, 20.3. Then how about Suntech? So I also have gotten the information from its annual report because I didn't see such a breakdown in its quarterly results. So let's head over to the annual report. And what Suntech has done is to split its office portfolio and retail portfolio. So let's go through the office portfolio. The top 10 tenants in its office portfolio contributed 21.5% and the top 10 tenants in its retail portfolio contributed 18.8%. You see that there are distinct differences. While you're investing in REITs, Please do not think that each REIT or all the REITs behave in the same manner. So you still need to do some form of homework. If you like what you heard, tap the like button so that YouTube can share this video with more people. And if you'd like to stay notified of my future videos, hit the subscribe button. Now I also go into the next part, which is the REIT itself, operating in high interest rate environment. You might be thinking, yeah, is it important to know whether is it fixed to floating rates, loan renewal dates, interest coverage ratio. Those ratios are good to be aware of if the event that REITs is still going to operate in this high interest rate environment, this information or ratios will be just good to know. Learn more about Keppel DC Read by watching this.